All right, welcome to chapter eight, electric scooter. Okay, now you're just downgrading. Can you escape this scooter? <laughs> well, fortunately, we don't actually have to escape the scooter, okay? We're lucky It's actually in that. a hoverboard. Right. All right, so we're here have by ourselves. Have you learned to stop going places by yourself, Mike's we, friend? We have, a How we have Howard, right? Like, yeah, unless he's diarrheaing still. <laughs> that could be it, actually. Mm -hmm. That's plausible. <laughs> and then you play an episode where you're the diarrhea escaping from his butthole. <laughs> We've heard of direct injection, right? Um, right? Let's see here. So, all right. So this is the entry of the garage that Mike, Mike might be down here. Hmm. All right. So we have a locked door. But rather than try to solve a puzzle, we're just going to hide and see if somebody comes, okay? Wow, what if you could do that for any puzzle <laughs> in a game? Just wait it out. Oh, here we go. There's a the, there's a bad guy, as you can tell from their telltale motorcycle. Oh, is that the helmet. first like person animation we've seen? I think so. Those, yes. Those three or four frames. It's just that. <laughs> All right. So, what should we do here? Should we touch, touch his butt? All right. So let's take the self defense flashlight. Shock his Mike, ass. Are you in there? Shock his ass! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> and in the in the phone version, that would be game over, but here they let you do that. Are you sure he's a bad guy? <laughs> I don't know. He's not exactly dressed the part. <laughs> so we're hiding his body like Solid Snake, I guess, and then... All right, now that his butt's unconscious. Like, I'm here. Where are you? You know, maybe you should assume there are other bad guys here. <laughs> Alright, this is uh this is a really painful level, but they took out a bunch of puzzles in it, so now it's at least kind of palatable. Okay. But a lot so now a lot of the rooms are empty and they don't have light bulbs and all that. Useless bicycles, I can't escape from those. <laughs> Too small. Ah, so annoying. Uh. I don't why does this room need a switch? It looks perfectly lit to me, but Alright, so Again, it's useless. All right, so I can't tell what's in this room. I mean, it looks fine. Could be me. anything. Puzzle solved. <gasps> Aha! A motor scooter. So Maybe if I turn the lights on more, I can figure out who it belongs to. Oh, sundries. Some of sundries. Hmm, a wet acid battery, huh? Mm. I'll just take that. All right, so what else do we got here? No can't... key, no way. That's Mike's friend's motto. <laughs> All right, this one, this room's also too dark. But again, puzzle solved. Okay. Oh, oh luggage. Doesn't seem painful at all. Let's use it. All right, so. Is it Mike? Uh, let's see here. So let's if we use it like an item, right? Yeah. The zip, the zip's locked. We can't open it, so we'll call Howard, our private detective friend, okay? Here's some poop sounds on the other end. <laughs> I right, have we... found a luggage, Howard. It's the uh, coded lock. How do I hack this? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think this will really work, Howard. Well, they teach you in Hacking Academy. We don't have a pen. Bro, I believe you'll make it, though. All right. <laughs> Thanks, bro. All right, so anyway, so we need a pen to open the luggage, which I I find a little incredible even for car escape, but all right. <laughs> so let's see, um, going up here, a bulb, maybe that'll come in handy. All right. So, oops. All right. So now that we've thoroughly explored this room, I suppose, um, let's see here. Oh, there's something behind this outlet. Mike? Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh it's a blunt pen knife. Whoops. Well, hey, that just happens to be what we needed. No, um, I don't know why, but the game won't let you use the pen knife to open the luggage, even though I personally think that's a completely valid solution. But oh. whatever. Oh, wait, look at this. The baby car. <laughs> it's the war machine. <laughs> Burn? Ha ha. Oh, hi, Mike. 
<laughs> Try if it works. Hey, cool! Ultraviolet light! Uh... All right, um, so again, in the original, every every one of those dark rooms, you had to turn off the light, shine it, and there'd be a number there, and you had to combine all of it to, like, make, you know what I mean, like, get a code. Right, but, right, right. But they, they took it they took it out, fortunately. All right, this room's too so dark. So was all this after feedback they received from the original version? Well, or just, the... like, like well, oh, thing... wow, this really sucks, actually. This thing, this is what makes no sense to me too. It's based on in-app purchase if you buy hints, so it doesn't really behoove them to like make easier puzzles. Yeah, right. But you know, I I guess he really cared about the car escape experience. The integrity of the game is most important. Get ready for a plot twist. Ah! Oh, that ah! was that was it. Oh my God, Mike was here, but he's not. He's here. turned into an ID. He has. Oh no. All right, so white switch is already on. Yep. All right. Well, that was great. Hmm. So this room's too dark. Way light too dark. This light switch doesn't work. <laughs> I don't think the luggage will help us, even though I really want to click on that use with the exclamation point. But it's nice luggage. You should at least keep it as a souvenir. <laughs> hmm. Oh, a pencil. An well, it's not a pen, so it probably won't work on the luggage. That's true. Yeah. All right, there's no light switch in this room. All right, so here's the trick. A pen won't work on the luggage, you're right. But a sharpened pencil would. Oh. So, our objective is somehow to sharpen this pencil, okay? With the blunt knife? No, the knife is too blunt to sharpen a pencil with, I'm afraid. But I, I, I mean, I agreed with you. I, I think that should have worked, frankly. All right, so where else can we go here? Um, all right, that's where we got the light bulb. So there was this, another scooter in the other room, so I'm kind of hoping just maybe we can figure something out there. Stymied by this. <laughs> God damn it, car escape. Oh, what? How did that happen? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Wait, Got it. What'd you do? So, when you click on the light switch, he goes, he, the second time, he says, Ah, there's no bulb? No wonder the light switch doesn't work, you know? That's, you had to click on it twice? You had to click on it twice, yeah. I mean, oh. duh. I what? guess. So. It's a feature. Sure. Sure, Car Escape. I'll just trust you on this one. There we go. Lights is on. Ah. All right, there's nothing in the basket. Which I could not have determined if light hadn't been in this room. Oh, okay, and there's a key to the electric scooter, all right? Here's here's what we're going to do. Don't get trapped inside of it. <laughs> okay, so... Hi, Mike's friend. I'm the seat. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to give it a lead-acid battery, okay? Okay. Now that we've connected the battery, we can... Oh, uh, we have the power on the scooter. So we will use, of course, the key to power on the scooter. Certainly. Whoops, scooter's powered on. Turn the handle. Wheel's spinning. And now that the wheel is spinning, we can use it to sharpen the knife. Wait, what? Yeah, no, because it'll burnish the knife. Okay. I see. And paid to black on this solution. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that the pen knife is sharp enough, we uh, can take the pencil, use the pen knife on the pencil, and we have to cl click on it each and every time. And I guess the text is just sharpen it times ten. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's a sharp pencil. Okay. All right. So now that we've done that, that looks tough. The nib, that's a... Don't you ever is, think that when you sharpen a pencil? Wow, this looks tough. This is a tough nib I made on this pencil. Damn straight, son. All right, it really digs in. So we'll dig it deeper, mm -hmm. open the right side. So if you notice, he's really just cutting the fabric around the zipper, you know? Right. Which you have a fucking pen knife for. That's Even how most luggage works. You just completely ruin it <laughs> for one use, and you're you're done. That's how the That's how big luggage makes their money. What's in this mysterious envelope 
Oh, a card! Ah. 838. But if we use the ultraviolet flashlight, it says kill him at Love Hotel. <laughs> Why? That is um, some strange viral marketing. So Mike was transferred to the Love 838 of Love Hotel. Kill him with love. <laughs> See? This is the contact point for the bad guys. Oh, so this is how so they So they have to do all this to get the messages? <laughs> I, I guess so. Wow. This right, is so a terrible criminal operation. And besides, you saw you eliminated all gangsters. I thought so. But not all assassins, so. That's true, yeah. Right. Well, that's the car, the electric scooter. <laughs> In case you want to buy one, here's a link. All right, then we'll continue to chapter nine. Can't wait.